Hello, my beautiful Bliss community. Oh, I'm so happy to be here. It's Thursday, which is the evening that we usually set up and do a in practice in this beautiful room with these beautiful sound bowls. And tonight, I'm going to bring you this vibe into the space of your own home. And I couldn't be more excited to do it um, because this practice is really healing for me as well. And I think it's really needed and necessary right now, especially everything so wild and vulnerable. Um, but this is how we're going to stay grounded, right? Yoga. So thank you for allowing me to meet you in cyberspace. Um, you have a really nice 45 minute yoga, yin, and nicha practice. So. If I can pause this video, and if you want to light some candles, get some tea, get yourself cozy, let your family know that you're going to dodge out for about 45 minutes, or invite your family in, but yeah, we don't need any props to practice tonight. Just the space of your own home and this time that you allow yourself to really be able to just pause and relax. Okay. We're going to begin in a comfortable seat. So sit up nice and tall. Bring your shoulders up to your ears to the back of the room and allow them to drop down. We'll do that two more times. Up to your ears to the back of the room and allow them to drop down. One more up. Back and drop. Your hands can be rested on your lap. I like the idea of palms facing up for a little bit more of a receiving practice. Down if you want to feel a little bit more grounded. Let your shoulders fall away from your ears. As you begin to enter your space, in whatever form you're in, without any judgment, just proceeding with love. Taking a moment here to just uh, let go. Take a couple breaths on your own. Take a couple more sips of air in. And then open your mouth, H, and ha. Ah, just let it go. Let that be a release. We'll do it two more times. Big breath in. Big breath out. One. 
one more. Inhale, new. Exhale, old. Good. Bring your hands to prayer, pressing your thumbs in between your chest, feeling your heartbeat, the pulse of each fingertip. Notice the blood in your body, the air on your skin, the ground beneath you, right here, right now, with gratitude. We invite you to think of three things or people that you're thankful for today. Putting some gratitude right into our practice as we begin. Okay. Now I invite you to think of three things that you're looking forward to. Big breath in. Let it go. Oh, good. Go ahead and rest your hands. Ah, so much better already. So, as, <clears throat> excuse me, I walk you through these poses today. I'm going to get you into them and then I'm going to play the sound bowls and then I'll let you know when to come out. So, Sitting up nice and tall, we're going to get into our neck first. Begin to drop your right ear to your right shoulder. Lift your heart up, lift your chin up, so we're not dumping into this. <coughs> Excuse me. And instead, just breathing into this. You can, if you want, place your right hand on top of your head, and your left arm can begin to walk away from your body. Close your eyes. Feeling this from the fingertips to the crown of your head as you inhale, guide your breath up. As you exhale, guide your breath down. Good. Just allowing our neck to have a little bit of love. Some space created. And that's what we're doing here in this practice today. For those of you that are new to you, this practice is all about time. Let's switch sides. Come on back to center. Drop your left ear to your left shoulder. Lift your chin, lift your heart. Your left hand can come on top of your head and your right hand can walk away from you. So we have our yin and our yang, right? The balance of energies, the light and the dark. Our young yoga practices, we move, flow with our breath. It's our moving meditation. Our yin practices are much more gentle. We pause and slow everything down. Let's come on back to center. Interlace your hands, bring them around to the back of your head. Tuck your chin into your chest and allow your elbows to just drop. So we hold these poses for a couple minutes of time, and this allows us to get past the muscles and into the joints and the connective tissue of the bones, the mind and the heart. Take a deep breath in. Let it go. Good. Come on back up. You can maybe inhale, circle, sweep your arms and reach up to the sky. And on the exhale, cactus, goalpost your arms. Bring your heart up, let your head go back, and bring your shoulder blades together. Tuck your chin into your chest, round your spine, and reach for the front. Hands come together, back to heart. And we're going to do that two more times. So inhale, circle, sweep. Exhale, cactus, and open. Inhale, tuck your chin into your chest, round your spine, and reach forward. Exhale, hands to heart. One more time. Inhale. Exhale. 
Inhale. Exhale. Okay. Just let our hands go by the side. And we're going to come into a caterpillar pose. So what you're going to do is stretch your legs out, crack your toes, give your legs some love since we were just on them with our knees, you know, crisscross. So shake out your legs. It might even feel good to ball up your fists and move around the muscles, move around the blood. And this pose is called caterpillar, so you're going to move your sits bones out of the way. Sit up nice and tall. Take a deep breath in. Your arms are going to come up overhead, and on the exhale, lead with your heart and just fold forward. Now, you don't have to worry about grabbing your ankles or your calves or what's available, but instead, walk your hands to each side of your leg, that point of resistance that your body naturally stops. So, don't worry, it'll change through time. Every day our yoga practice is gonna be different. So if today your hands are by your thighs, that's okay. If you make it all the way up to your calves, that's okay too. Whenever you meet that point of resistance, you're gonna tuck your chin into your chest and allow your head to just drop. Let your shoulders drop. Let your head hang heavy. Breathe into this as you just slowly begin to relax. We're gonna hold this for three minutes and I'm gonna play the sound rolls while you do. So release your jaw. Release your shoulders away from your ears. Allow any tension to just settle. When you're on the clock, close your eyes. Don't worry about me.
If this is too much for your knees, you can keep them together in hero's pose, your knees together, your feet together, resting your chest and your torso on your thighs. And if none of this feels good, just lie down on your belly. So holding it here for one full minute, and then we'll work a little bit into our shoulders. Let your shoulders release. Maybe rock your head side to side and on the mat. Let your breath be heavy, smooth and long. right arm is going to go up and towards the sky and then you're going to bring it underneath your left bicep with the palm facing up and then your right temple can come to the ground or if you have a pillow or a block you can place your head on that draw your left shoulder down try to really release your hips and just breathe Nice slow long breaths. Let's take a deep breath in. Deep breath out. We'll switch sides. Right arm extends long. Left arm underneath your right bicep, palm facing up. Left temple down onto the ground. Drop your right shoulder down. Nice deep breaths. with a little addition. So on the inhale, drop your belly down, lift your tailbone up, look up. And on the exhale, tuck your chin into your chest, round your spine, push away the earth, and then maybe bring your hips to your heels here. Let's do that two more times. So come back to neutral, inhale, head up, tail up, look up. Shoulders away from the ears. Exhale, tuck your chin into your chest, round your spine, push away the earth. Hips to heels. One more. Inhale. Exhale. Good. Come on back to 
neutral. And swing your legs out around behind you. And come on down to your backs. Squeeze your knees into your chest. And rock side to side. Just massaging your spine. Cracking your toes. Circling your ankles. <sighs> Yoga feels so good. <laughs> Let's extend our legs up the wall. So if you have a block or a prop at home, you can kind of scooch yourself and put it on, but your hands work just fine. So thumbs touching, palms facing down. Move your sits bones and just place your seat and let the blood come down. If you're close to a wall and you actually want to scooch up against a wall, you're more than welcome to do that too. We're going to hold this one for three minutes and I'm going to play the sound for you as you do. I like legs up the wall because of all the benefits. Digestion, immune system, which is really important right now. As well as uh, anxiety and insomnia. So as the sirens go by, right, and our world goes by, have your legs up the wall, just a nice perspective change like gravity. Flex at your right ankle, 
Begin to squeeze the left knee into the chest.
together, squeeze them into the chest, from side to side, grab your toes, circle your ankles. And left leg will go long. Interlace your hands two inches around your right knee or behind your right thigh. Bump the right knee over the side body just a little bit, avoiding the rib cage. Take a deep breath in. And on the exhale, squeeze your right knee up and towards your right shoulder as you press your left calf down. And we'll do that two more times. Big breath in. And exhale, squeeze. One more inhale. And exhale, squeeze. With your left hand, begin to guide the knee across your body. Your right arm is going to go out long, so you take this nice, gentle twist. Also really good for your immune system. Detoxing. If you imagine a wet washcloth and you're wringing it out, that's what's happening to our insides right now. This is where our colon and our liver live, so squeezing anything out. And this could be energetically, too. Let it go. Body. 
from the toes to the crown of your head as you inhale. Back down to your toes as you exhale. To the crown of your head as you inhale. And back down as you exhale. Bring your 
bathe your heart with nourishment, renewal, and healing. Let your heart take what it needs and say the words, I am greatly loved. I allow myself to give and receive love freely. I am nourished by the power of love. In your own time, Move up to your neck, to your throat chakra, extend through our ears. Let it soften, expand, breathe. Your chakra of self-expression and personal will. Inviting the color blue, the color of the bright sky. Clearing, opening, self-expression and creativity. Say the words. I hear and speak my truth. I express myself freely. I go with the flow of life. No. 
notice the things around you once again. Thank you.